All right, so here's a cool little sesh I did today uh, with uh, iRange Sports. This is Gene right here. Uh, so he, Gene has always struggled with pelvis early extending, head backs up, and he throws a lot of his angles with his trail side at it. So what we're doing right here is he swings this back. You'll notice I've got my hand on his left leg, and I got my other hand on his right rib cage. So what we're doing here is you'll notice right here, I'm gonna be pulling his lead side around much earlier, so he's already back to square here. Now we still have some educating to do on the hand, so this is not perfect yet, but what you'll notice is when the body works functionally, a lot of times the golf club still winds up, ends up getting in a good spot right here. So I'm pulling his lead side around early. Now from here to balance out the lead side working back and around, now this is making room for the trail side, his rib cage to actually start working down towards the golf ball. So we've gotten the left side out of the way. Now the trail side can start working down into a right bend to where he's gonna be able to continue turning. And now we can see this left rib cage is starting to extend. So this is how, this is how rotation works a lot of times. You have to counterbalance masses. So the lead side, his left side is going low and back which is then making room for his right side to start working down towards the golf ball right here. So what you'll notice right here is as he gets down into impact, let's see if we can freeze it there. You'll see his butt is well behind right here. He's in a very good position in regards to what his spine is and his head's never left the wall that he's on right there. And you can still see he's still got a little bit of bend here in his trail arm. Now this was done at a slower speed and I was helping him with it, but this is what I like doing exaggeration wise to give players a feel of what they've never had before. This is, this is one of the first times this guy's actually felt what it's like to just turn through a shot without having a lot of throw at the bottom, not pulling on the handle. And like I said, we've still got some educating to do on what the wrists need to do and what the club pressures need to but it's pretty cool how the golf club starts to react a lot differently just based on what the body movements are doing. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Hope you enjoy.